I just finished watching this past week The Old Man with Jeff Bridges and uh, John Lithgow. I mean, oh my God, that it's on FX, FX on Hulu. You, I watch it on Hulu. Fantastic show. Um, if you haven't checked it out, if you are I looking haven't. for a show, check out The Old Man, especially if you're into those spy thrillers. If you had a rough time with The Gray Man, I bet you're going to enjoy The Old Man because The Old Man, it's it's sort of like you get that verisimilitude that The Gray Man sometimes doesn't I heard they're, I heard they're, doing a, a, they're doing a crossover yeah. called The Old Gray Man. <laughs> No, no, no relation. I mean, John Watts is involved with the project who did the recent Spider-Man trilogy. But, um, I mean, among other people, it's not like he's the only one. He's one of the executive producers. Jeff Bridges, though, you know, he's the lead. And he is a fantastic... Yeah. I mean, you know, he gives the show a sense of gravitas. He, it's yeah. his first ever TV show. Again, blurring the lines. Jeff Bridges, Well, that's the thing. There used to be a, a time star. where, like, yeah. movie stars, they would, oh, I would never deign to do television. And now... TV, it's just as theatrical. It's just as expensive to produce. Usually better, actually. Because uh, uh, you can lately, flesh out yeah. the characters and stuff. Yeah, right. you know? yeah. And you can you can dedicate a whole episode to a, a minor plot detail mm. and expand the narrative. But, you know, we were talking earlier this week about how, you know, streaming numbers have gone down. Netflix and Disney Plus, like, kind of neck and neck right now. And it's like, what what is the... As people sort of unsubscribe, as the prices keep raising, do you think that there's any hope for traditional television to come back? Or do you think streaming is still going to win? You know, like, what's what's the whole landscape looking like to you guys? Traditional television, how do you, like, you mean, like... Like uh, cable, like like uh, watching on... People, you know, people don't have the patience for that now. No? Because ads I just, are everywhere. Yeah. That's I agree. Though. Sorry, Andrew, you go ahead. No, no, I, I'm opening it up. Uh, yeah, I was just going to say, because, yeah, we were kind of going back and forth. And I mean, you know, when we prepped the show, we were talking about what topics to cover. One of the things this week was like last week, Warner Brothers Discovery had their earnings call and report came out. And, you know, their stock actually dropped on afterwards because they showed a big loss, a bigger mm -hmm. loss than what was anticipated. Disney, this week on their earnings call, they beat expectations. They showed a good profit. And um, they also basically announced that when you combine Disney Plus, Hulu, and ESPN Plus subscribers, all Disney, you know, streaming services, they have like 221 million subscribers in total, whereas Netflix has 220. So, yeah, I mean... It's it's not quite apples to apples, you know, because for obvious reasons, like one person could be subscribed to all three services, whereas Netflix just has like that one source. Like you can't subscribe to Netflix three different ways. I suppose you could. Yeah. Like if you want to create well, three they, accounts. They were, they've been talking about doing you know? like the ad tier and all that stuff. Exactly. Disney even announced an ad tier. I mean, they bumped their prices up too. But the point that you were making earlier, I do think, I think this has been a one way chain, like road. We are not going to go back to linear TV ever being what it used to be, primarily because even before streaming became a thing, you had things like TiVo changing the way people watch television. People wanna watch TV on demand essentially nowadays. The only things you really need to watch live, potentially, and for some people it's not even that, because if you're not a sports fan, you don't care about sports, but sports and news are like the two live things that you yeah. really need linear television for, which even now I think streaming has caught up a lot, but yeah. You just have you to put up a YouTube though? TV feed next to a like a feed that you're getting from, let's say, Xfinity or Spectrum yeah. or whatever, and no, I mean, you'll see we there's even, a, we can even choose what same. news we want to watch. Yeah. I mean, we can decide. Oh, I like this guy's commentary. I'll watch. I'll click on that video. And a lot of you know, a lot of people getting their news from YouTube or um, alternative alternative media sites. And it's like you you choose the information you want right now. You choose the shows you watch. What I miss, though, is like those days when you'd be home and there was nothing to watch. And so you would scan through the channels and you would find something, you know, these are the days when I would I would end up like on sci fi or there'd be something on like, you know, tattoo artists or some weird history channel documentary. And it's like you could it was actually a lot more open and you could discover something strange and like watch something that wasn't just somebody else, you know, in, in their in their living room talking to a camera. Like it would be 
something that a network had vetted and it was fully produced and it was good and it was just weird and you could stumble upon stuff. Yeah. You're yeah, arguing against our show, essentially, is what you're saying. I'm arguing against <laughs> the state of affairs currently. I, I, I do, do not miss. Job. I do not miss cable. I hated like. Really. I well, I just hated how stressful it was because it was like you'd get like five minutes of the show and then like two, three minutes of commercials, and it was like really fast paced and stressful. But I'm finding that's Never. coming back, right? Like I well, watch stuff on Hulu and ads are back. It's just like watching television. Yeah, I know, but I yeah. That's part of it. I think the ads were never going to stay away for too long. And I mean, look, like now you people have the option. You could pay more money and get the no ad subscription. You can you can just do that. And some people can afford to. Some people want to. Some people don't care. I, for one, actually, over the course of the pandemic, especially after a while of just being cooped up, like sometimes I want to see ads simply because it's, it's, it's just think about it this way. Right. You pop on an old VHS tape you taped an old movie on that you only have on VHS and for some reason you have a VHS player still around and it's yeah. connected to your television and your TV still has the ability to take those plugged, like what do they call them? Composite connect, whatever. The RCA. Suppose all of that's true. Yes. You pop in an old DVR with basically an old school DVR recording on a VHS tape of let's say the Super Bowl from 1995 yeah. and you're watching it and then the commercials pop up and you know what? There's one. Okay, so the, the Super Bowl itself sort of transports you into a different time, but you're mm -hmm. aware that you're watching something that is like 25 years old, 27 no, years old. No, you can you can trace the, the culture and you can see the show in the exactly. context of the culture of the time. And yeah. you know, I just rewatched uh, Boston Legal. Times were different, and that was not too long ago. You know, but right, you could you could see a lot has changed just in the way that we talk about certain issues though even politics way different just 10 years ago and uh it was just this this is how we get a record of time and our attitudes because these are the stories that we tell and our stories have changed yeah and that's what ads do so if you sometimes to me like i like to not skip ads because i for that reason i'm like this gives me a connection to what is happening in the here and now in the world what's like because it's yeah. not like water cooler stuff but it's close to it. I mean, and it's like a weird thing to say, like, oh, you like to watch ads. I mean, not all the well, time. Ads are ads are sometimes. constructed to, you know, to a communicate what the like aspirations for the culture. It responds to the culture, and it's trying to use the time that we're in to make a case about selling you something. And ads from the '80s won't work on audiences today, or ads from today certainly would not work on people in the 1980s like it's yeah you have to you have to get into the mind of the masses yeah i feel like there's there's some sort of there's substance here for like either a documentary i'm sure there's documentaries made about you know commercials over time or maybe there should be like a museum of adver i'm sure there is a museum of advertising maybe somewhere we should make or like, one. yeah they should make one um Anyway, where did we start? I think we just kind of trail off. Oh, television. We just had a, we just yeah. had a little discussion. It was yeah. okay. Nobody got hurt. I had a good time. Um, but why don't we get into the actual show? Shall we, uh, Catriona? Would you like to run us down and tell us what's going on on the show today? Sure, let's do it. Let's do <clears throat> the rundown. I'm practicing all night, guys. Hello, welcome. Today we will be looking at the, we'll be talking about Prey, the movie. Afterwards, we will then get into a discussion about quick hits. It's not really a discussion, it's a prepped thing. Then we will talk about what we all thought of Lal Singh Chada. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, I don't remember if that was correct. And then we're going to get into a little discussion of five reasons why or why not to watch She-Hulk. And then uh, For All Mankind, episode 10, uh, Dan will be discussing that. And it will be live. So there we go. Um, thank you. <laughs> hey, great. Hey, great yeah. job. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, you nailed I, it. Uh, thanks. Mm -hmm. Working yeah, I don't know. I night. think I would call that an improvement over Oh yeah. past yeah. attempts. Yeah, it's because sure. uh, it's because Andrew had to say something to me on the side. So <laughs> uh oh. Yeah. Yeah, I slapped her around a little bit, yeah. but she's in good shape. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, I uh -huh. mean, don't go listening to strangers wearing blue shirts. That's all I'll say. That's yeah, all. especially. I know. Yeah. We, we know news is so unreliable these days. We don't even know if the shirt was blue. 
you know? We know. I think everyone we really is don't. pretty sure. On that, probably on fit, that you note. Know, you know what? Why don't, we, yeah. why don't we make a poll? Was the shirt... No, I know I have the shirt. I can... Yeah, we don't care about your opinion. It's, the, it's, it's about, not my opinion. It's objective uh, it's reality. The opinion it's opinion of the, everyone the, on the sh- All right. Well, why don't... I believe we have a comment of the week that we need to uh, address as well. Is that right? Oh, yeah. Uh, yes. Let me find it. Just remember that if you're watching this... Speaking of blue. Uh, no, 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 no. Ho, 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 ho. Shirts, blue Just shirts. remember, if you're Speaking watching of this, Andrew's you're finding shirt. you're enjoying the show, you are disagreeing with something, or interact with us, you have a shot to be the comment of the week. So engage with us. You can comment on Instagram, on Twitch, on YouTube, pretty much anywhere that there's a comment box. Give us your thoughts, and uh, if they're compelling or relevant or interesting, we'll actually, uh, we'll actually respond. So... What did, uh, what did what what do we got this week? What's our compelling, interesting comment of the week comes from Elaine Coomer. Got oh, what's that first line? Guy let's, in let's blue shirt. It. Wow. Need to do some more research. The girl, the girl is right on. I'm 70 and I felt like the young girl is doing like most women, being obsessed with all he ever did and anything anybody said about him. It only makes you love him more when you hear all the comments made by people that knew him. He tried to take care of everybody. By the oh, way, oh, what, blue what's shirt, this? Yeah. Oh. Even men couldn't get over how good looking and what a presence Elvis was. So imagine how women feel. Those girls weren't screaming for nothing. Okay. Well. Wow. He clearly, doubled down. He doubled. He said it twice. This is Elaine. This is a woman. Oh, sorry. She she doubled down. She said it twice. Well, okay. Uh, the Here shirt, he is, guys. Clearly, clearly, you know, you, you have an issue with the uh, reality. the 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 shirt is is not blue. It's the shirt it's, is not blue. It's like it's like seven people with this opinion at this point. I think. Well, it's it's a, it's an opinion, and everybody's entitled to the, their opinion, I suppose. But. Uh, the shirt is the shirt is gray. There's, it's it's not even up for debate. It's a fact. Um, in terms of the Elvis stuff, I can't I can't figure out why this uh, particular video is getting the response. It it is, but it is. And uh, you know, I think what you're talking about is I was saying like they were turning Elvis into a civil rights hero. And I, I don't know if politics was so ingrained in uh, entertainment the way it is today, back then. There were political issues involving Elvis, and he certainly did a lot um, in support of civil rights. But I don't think he was like a civil rights figure, you know. He was a good guy, entertaining guy, sexy guy. I'll give you that, Elaine. Sexy guy. Everybody likes Elvis. But um, yeah, do you think he had a blue shirt? He probably had shirt. Actually, we could. He was like Gatsby. He had shirts of every color. The guy. Okay, I've had enough of blue shirt. It's not. It's not blue. I want to take a sip of coffee. <sighs> quick hits. Shall we do quick hits? Oh, sure. No, you? no, no. We we got something special before quick hits. Um, what? You guys clearly don't pay attention to the rundown. <laughs> I, it was in there. Uh, I'm just, uh, I'm yeah, just, I, I I'm just I'm remember, just, like yeah. it said, pray. And our mind, I'm, I, I know it. It happens. It happens. I forgive sorry. you guys. Um, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Okay, so first, really? Okay, we'll talk about pray. We won't talk it. about pray. Roland will talk about pray. Roland, right? Gonna, we'll we don't listen want my opinion. to you know somebody what? talk about pray. clearly. Nobody wants my opinion on these things. Let's see what Roland had to say about prey. <laughs> 